Hi right, guys, welcome back. Um, we are literally just like a couple hits away from beating him. Or, or her. We're gonna do this real quick and capture the ending. There you go. Literally, my only tactic was to fuse with with uh, Taurus and use Mars Bane over and over and over. And it worked out. But... I didn't know that the the, the mob squad in the back would survive still, but whatever. Shouldn't be too hard to take them out. I dropped my glasses. Here goes. Not yet. Here goes. Here goes. There you go. God hand. The giant shadow disappears, but the voice continues to be continues to be heard. Prim, don't go. We need you here. <laughs> Color returns to the world once again. As for the ominous shadow, it has vanished without a trace. Ba -ba. She's gone. She's really... She's really gone. Aww. That sucks. I like Prim so much. Prim and Muse are, are great characters. Victory for the revolution. And so, Asteria's revolutionist party finally completed its purpose. <laughs> Look at Pegasus there. <laughs> the people greeted the demon gazer with cries of joy and adulation. As time passed, Magnastar's crimes were exposed to the public. Damn. He had a picture of his but daughter in that people amulet. Weren't as far apart as the world assumed. He was just an ordinary man, no different than trying any to other. save the one he loved, basically, that and cared for. Many of his crimes were the result of his love and weakness. I guess the rest will be left up to the historian's interpretations. Good man doing bad deeds for good reasons. I'll end this basically. journal with the words of the revolutionist leader. The tragedy that claimed countless lives has finally come to a close. They say that to err is human. When it involves the love of a parent, the risk of error is that much greater. 
Now that it's all over, if I could make just one wish, I hope the world always remembers that their love shone as bright as the stars. They are now resting in peace where they can gaze upon their memories. Aww. That's her, Alicia. They dream of the days where they had nothing, but were happy together. Welcome home. It's over. Yeah. For now, let's be happy you're back. That goes for Castle and them too. It well, don't worry about us. I'm used to outrunning death by now. But, hey, Muse, about Prim. Yeah. About that. Oh, no. <laughs> the thing is, everything turned out just fine. Huh? She's here! What? Hello. <laughs> Why would you put me through that? I I'm sorry for making you worry. <laughs> oh, my lord. But I thought... <laughs> See, this is the problem uh, with these kids. I will allow Prometh to explain what happened. Yes. What? It was me. <laughs> you confessing to a crime? Put her in jail. I had been thinking of a way to save Prim for some time now. My idea was to make something else vanish in place of Prim's soul. Something as valuable as a soul would balance it out. I say as what a What did she make vanish? What'd she use instead? Starlita. Prim values it as highly as her soul. Rather, it could even ah, be considered another soul Alicia. that existed inside her. I opted to make the power of song so she, vanish from her So she her can't heart. sing anymore, but she's back. She stays. So if the song inside her vanishes... Prim right. herself would be saved. Doesn't that sound a bit It does, too but convenient? I mean, hey, she's here. I'm not gonna question. Of course, it wasn't that simple. It was actually a big problem. Prim's soul and Starlita had all but completely merged. She's had it since birth, after all. Naturally, her soul and song were one. Yes, however... We received some unexpected help. The song that Asteria sang together. As Prim's soul began to vanish, the song was led by the people. And in that moment, the song was wrested from Prim's soul. Yes, I... I met her. I met her, Starlita's original songstress. I said I'd go with her, but she left by herself. And good thing you didn't. Anyway, it was all thanks to those who heard the broadcast and sang together. Ah, the radio is a divine invention. I love my job <laughs> more and more. Good show, Promet. Wait, hold on. Do you mean to tell us that Prim can't sing anymore? No, she can sing just fine. Oh, so her song doesn't have her those songs. powers anymore, basically. She lost the power of Starlita, but her talent for singing is intact. Okay, so that's good. She can sing and bring joy to others, just as she always has. I think it's perfect. It was too powerful for her before, but now she can sing all she wants. Yeah, you're right. 
I can sing to my heart's content. That's the way it should be. She may have lost her powers, but it defied the natural order of things. I think you might be better off without all that magic power. Well, everything's basically the same, so I guess it's all hunky-dory. But man, you always steal the spotlight at the end, Mortician. I brainstormed a new show format. After all, I am the broadcast writer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But, but everyone, I have a question. Since the revolution was a success, do we disband the revolutionist party? Yeah, I guess. Perhaps I'll need to think up a new business plan. Even now, you're thinking of money. Someone of my noble blood has many expenses to cover. Don't ruin this momentous day with that kind of talk. Toma brings up a good point, though. I guess we aren't the revolutionists now. Oh, oh, now that things are peaceful, the radio needs a peg shot. Peg shot? <laughs> <laughs> it may be fun to form a comedy duo with Peggy. <laughs> pro Pro, would you book us a slot in your studio? Ah, uh, but of course. That would be bring awesome. I'll tune week. in for that. What is this selfish nonsense? Now that peace has been established, we have a duty to maintain it. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. My bad. Jeez. That might be fine for the rest of you, but I have lots to do from now on. That's right. What are you going to focus on starting tomorrow, Muse? Hmm. Priority one is to stabilize the finances here at Stella's place. Yes, we've been heavily reliant on campaign contributions up till now. I suppose you'll continue to work as the manager of Stella's place. Well, sure, but we have lots of future prospects to consider, right? I mean, we need to take the next step in our lives now. A new revolution? By the look on Misa's face, she seems to be implying something. We'll decide together. Whoa, whoa, making life plans already? Isn't it a bit early for that? <laughs> I know, right? My sister loves to rush these things. I think we should take our time and talk it over with others first, no? Am I, like, getting the implication that they're, they're talking about having babies? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah that, I, you're right. Because she no phrased it all, all, like, just out of nowhere, but with her blushed face. But of course you have to be Yeah, it's something to do with too. me and them. <laughs> Gary points straight at you. <laughs> These are just future plans, okay? Feelings have nothing to do with it. What is that? Whoa! What's going on now? Uh, I didn't do anything, I swear! That sounds like a dragon. It's Wyvy! Oh, right! He must have come back for some food! Hey, hey! You say it like it's no big deal! <laughs> it's a big deal! The thing is, my mom hit me up pretty recently. She said he eats too much, so he has to stay here now. I nearly had a heart attack. Yay, a pet dragon. <sighs> More trouble ahead, huh? Always with this group. <laughs> but it wouldn't be fun without it. <gasps> <laughs> Stop it! I'm not your food! Just eat him. He, he's been useless. Alright, just, just take him. Don't roast my tushy! At least trip my stomach fat! Oh, this is good stuff. However, I'm out of film. I guess that's all for now. Tune in next time. <laughs> Alright, that's
That's it, guys. We did it. Demon Gaze 2 beat. A fun game. An amazing game. But, I have to say, um, do not pick up the PS4 version. I urge against it if you have, if you picked it up. Um, I mean, it, it's, I guess it's personal preference. The difficulty curve for the PS4 version, I haven't played the PS Vita version as well, but the PS4's version has been, like, confirmed to be bugged by a bunch of people on boards, and, and the money, uh, thing proves it right there that it's bugged. So, if, um, to have a true sense of the game, pick up the Vita version, that's the best bet of, um, how to gauge everything in this game. It's hard to kind of gauge it rating-wise on what I really, what, um, what I want to say and recommend it. I can say the story was top-notch. The characters were amazing. Each one was unique in their own special way. I enjoyed uh, the, the, um, the individual dating scenes. They were really fun. I will say I missed creative characters. I really do like creative characters. Um, it would have been kind of nice if you could still have a creative character team. But um, you had these special main characters that you could take out on dates instead. Instead of making it like the demons are your party members. Um, you know, like, they could have made them just a part of the Revolutionist Party, and, you, you know, you have your team. Because I, I really like creative teams, and it really helps me engage with you guys as well, um, which I enjoy a lot. But, um, I didn't hate it. It was, it was fun. Um, each character was super cool. Um, I will say, it wasn't a lot of thought in, into different portraits for each character. They kind of, like, b basically assumed that you had to have them in, you know, this regular form that they were. Uh, but it was just fine. Like I said, I had no problem with it. Um, the story felt like precise for like and like normal uh, demon gaze wise. It felt better than the first demon gaze story wise. I really enjoyed that. Um, and I was more invested in the characters than I think this one than I was the first one, which is um, a happy surprise. I will say though, uh, Lazarum's character. Took a, did a whole 180. It kind of threw me off on that. Um, they could have, you know, him being uh, fat was fine, but his personality changed, which I would think wouldn't have changed that much, like that, like that drastically. I didn't hate it. It just felt weird though that in the first game he was way more of a serious character. Um, I, I I don't see how being fat, you know, made his personality change that much. But that's just uh, that's just me, you know. Um, I still enjoyed it. I still love that he was like a comedic relief type of thing. Um, the girls were amazing. Prim and Muse, amazing characters. I loved each of them. I still love each of them. Uh, you kind of see, though. I, I will say, uh, as far as final boss type stuff goes, you kind of see it a mile away. I knew Eric was something, there was something strange about Eric in the be to begin with, um, from the start. And that first meeting with Magnastar happened, like, what, maybe mid-game? But you could already tell that he was not evil, like, in the sense of how we picked, painted him. So you could already tell that there was something wrong with that as well. But, um, that's just RPG tropes, I guess. Um, it, it was amazing, though. Um, I would say... If I were to give the, the first Demon Gaze a rating, it, like if I would give it like an eight, and give this like a nine. It was it was good. It was amazing. Highly recommend picking it up. Do not pick up the PS4 version though. Like I said, if you want the true experience of the game, um, just having all that money kind of makes it difficult. Um, but in all honesty, it um, it didn't make it as difficult to where I mean it didn't make it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm slurring my words, I'm sorry. Having all that money kind of makes it easy to get a lot of stuff. But it didn't make it as easy where um, you felt like it was too easy. Though I did feel like the game was easy all the way through toward to about maybe the Draco fight onward. Um, when I did Draco, Hydra, and all them, those were the only real hard parts boss-wise, in my opinion, I think. If I'm remembering correctly. A lot of the earlier stuff was not too difficult um the first game i uh the first game was way more difficult in my opinion um 
a good friend of mine, Bianca, is also playing it, and she also said, you know, it feels like it's a little bit more on the casual side. She's getting through it well, uh, you know, well enough, as opposed to the first game, which had its difficulty curve to it. And I really enjoy that. That's just my personal preference. Uh, but it, you know, it's casual friendly. It works. So I'm, I'm not mad at that. Uh, but yeah, the game was amazing. The game was fun, and uh, that was the playthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know there's post-game stuff. We might actually see a little bit of that now. I'm not going to actually go through post-game right now because I'm playing Xenoblade. Days after the revolution has ended. But there is a post-game thing. There is another demon you can get as well post-game, which I need to think about grabbing. I think I, I think it might be cancer, uh, but I'm not 100%. Please wake up if you would. The revolution has succeeded, but our daily lives haven't changed. Breakfast has been prepared. Please join everyone else downstairs. Yeah, yeah. The demon gazer is considered a hero, so we can't have you lazing about. Please come down for breakfast soon. Pardon me. Alright. So I'm going to save it here. Um, you know, I will be back to this eventually um, to explore that type of deal. Um... I just, um, Xenoblade is a big undertaking, so I wanted to get this game beat and taken care of, and, like, now, uh, be prepared to see a lot more Xenoblade, I, I can say that much, um, really fun game, like I said, this, uh, highly recommend picking it up, pick up the Vita version, though, if you can find it, um, it's probably, in, you can probably download it digitally as well on the Vita, I, I really don't understand how they haven't fixed the bugs, um, yet like clearly you can see i there's no way i should be able to have 10 million uh, but i do <laughs> um which in turn gives you the power to basically 99 um castle's whole uh stock and you can do the lottery over and over which gets you um which gets you um the mp heals it gives you bombs as well i think i actually have a few bombs like a, a, a big pouch of them yeah, these ones right here, which are multi-cures. Um, it also gives you the thing for high multi-cures, I think. You also get a, a few of... Um, that's where I was getting like the retro cape and the meow cape and stuff like that. Um, there's just a lot of... Um, nice little boost from doing that. But it kind of makes it, I guess, a little bit cheap. Which is not cool. <laughs> But, um, I mean, I wasn't going to stop my playthrough because of their their error. Um, what I'm maybe thinking is maybe, I mean, if I wait long enough and they fix it by the time the next stuff pops in, I can, you know, I can roll around with that. Or I'll just start it over on a PS Vita and do it that way. But, anyway, guys, that's it for this playthrough. Uh, sorry for taking up your time with more rambling. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I loved it. It was a fun playthrough. Thanks for sticking with me through the whole 50... What is it? I think this is 50, part 56 or 57 uh, episodes in the whole thing. And we did it. We we beat it. Uh, it was an awesome. I love the Demon Gaze series. I hope Demon Gaze 3 will be on the way soon enough. Uh, I mean, I'll pray for it. But uh, in the meantime, lots more RPGs to come. See you later. Bye.